What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today I'm reviewing the 2021 Arnold Classic, giving you the top six results, and not only the Opens, but also the Classic Physique and highlighting the winners of the other categories as well. Plus, there's a bunch of good news stories as well that goes with this 2021 Arnold Classic. So let's get straight into it, and I'll go competitor by competitor, go from sixth all the way down to first, where Nick Walker took out this title and looked absolutely sensational. So we'll start with sixth place, and that's Sergio Oliva Jr. He also won the Best Poser Award for the second year running in the Open class as well. Now, what was wrong with Sergio? Because many people believe that he'd actually place higher and potentially win this show. So what was wrong with his physique? So his midsection seemed a little bit thicker this year. So whether that was just because he added more size overall and sort of some of it went to his midsection, whether it was a bit of a bloating issue. To me, it looked like he added size overall, but a little bit did go to his midsection. In my opinion, I think he can rectify this for sure though, in terms of the, you know, the carb up process and also maybe just doing vacuums and things like that year round. I don't know what he's sort of routine is with that. But overall, he definitely added more size. He wasn't his normal crisp self as well. So if he can come in a little bit crisper and you know just bring that midsection in a little bit with that added size, he's going to be very, very dangerous. And now his stocks will sort of go down a little bit after this. But I think going into his next show, he's going to be a little bit underrated. And I think it will shock people once again, like he did last year at the 2020 Arnold Classic. In fifth place, we had Akeem Williams, another one of the favorites coming into this show as well. Now he was absolutely huge as normal. And he had a midsection issue as well. His was more in terms of breathing when he's on stage. Um, a little bit of that distension in the midsection. And I don't know why that's actually happening because a few guys had that in this show, whether it's because Big Rami's at the helm now and he's the current Mr. Olympia or whether it's because Nick Walker was coming into this show and everyone knew they needed to match up against him. And, you know, everyone thought William Bonac was competing, but obviously he had to pull out a few days out, not being able to get to the US, which makes an interesting argument to, as well to whether he would have actually won this show. But that's sort of another story. Now, Akeem, if he can control that midsection a little bit more, he's still just as big as ever, like he was at last year's Mr. Olympia. I think maybe he could be a tiny, tiny bit more crisp. I think he's a little bit harder at last year's Olympia, but he wasn't far off it at all, and that's why he placed fifth in such an impressive lineup. In fourth place, we had Justin Rodriguez. Now, he shocked a lot of people at this contest. I predicted him down in seventh place. He came fourth. Some people believe he could have even been higher. In my opinion, I think this is about as high as I'd put Justin Rodriguez. A few reasons. His midsection as well was a little bit thicker. I preferred his package earlier in the year at the Indy Pro, but the judges seemed to award this and like this package from Justin Rodriguez. Also, I thought his shoulders were a little bit pointy as well, and that's sort of the issue that Hardy Chupin's had, but it doesn't seem to get marked down too much in the IFB Pro League. But guys, let me know what you think about that in the comments below and look I'm not all down on Justin Rodriguez because he has a great front double bicep his back shots are absolutely insane he loses it a little bit from the side against some of these thicker guys but overall he did you know look very good in the individual shots in the front lat spread I think it's where it shows up on his shoulders a little bit and I wouldn't give him the best I suppose you know ranking in terms of that pose but let me know what you think in the comments below on that in third place, we had Steve Kuklo. After prejudging, it looked like it was a battle between Steve Kuklo and Nick Walker. I had Nick Walker clearly winning it. Um, I actually wondered if Steve Kuklo should have been in that top two, but Steve is very, very big and very, very impressive in person as well. And his partner, Amanda Latona, was not happy. She was part of a broadcast team for this live webcast. And she was like, come on, you know, like, just come on. You know, she wasn't happy about this. And it was pretty clear. And I don't know if anyone would have said something to her in terms of, you know, what she was saying on the broadcast. She didn't say anything negative, but you could tell she was bitterly disappointed that he finished in third when it seemed clear that he was going to be a top two guy when they do a final two call out at the end of pre-judging. In second place, we had Ian Valier. I sort of agree with the decision. I think Ian was a little bit flat as well. So I think Ian could have been even better based off what we saw in Texas. I think Ian was maybe a little bit better in Texas and maybe wasn't quite as good here, but still a very, very good package. Very, very impressive. He just got second in the Arnold Classic. And the fact that he, I don't think he's quite, quite at his best is very encouraging for Ian Valier. And our winner, Nick Walker, looked absolutely sensational, was in great condition. He had great stage presence. He posed really well. Everything was on point and it had a ton of muscle, obviously, to go with. He won the most muscular award as well, which was the one that Branch Warren typically used to win all the time. And I was a little bit worried when he actually won that because sometimes they were giving that to Branch like every year when he's coming second to Dexter Jackson. But um, he obviously won that, won a little bit extra money and then won $130,000 US, which I'm sure William Bonac is watching this and and really being quite jealous. I mean, I would be if I was William Bonac and I'd be sort of struggling with the fact that he sort of missed out on a massive paycheck, whether he would have won this show against Nick Walker or he would have got second. 
I mean, it's still regardless a very big paycheck. So super unfortunate for William Bonac, but Nick Walker walks out this show and I think that he was the clear winner. Let me know what you think in the comments below about Nick Walker and what do you think about Ian Valier placing second ahead of Steve Kuklo. Now, touching on some of the other divisions as well, I want to mention before I get into the classic physique, Ronnie Coleman got the Lifetime Achievement Award. Super emotional on stage. It was really, really cool to see. It meant a lot to him. Uh, he finished the speech with Mama, we got ourselves a Lifetime Achievement Award, and it took him minutes to get that out because he was so emotional. So that was great to see. Uh, Missy Truscott won the fitness, um, and she was coached by John Meadows as well. So obviously losing her coach about a month before the contest, so she tributed that win to him. And in the bikini, we had Jennifer Dory winning that one as well. Now we'll get into the classic physique, and I'll run quickly over the results. Fabian Mayer finished in sixth. Brian Jones, as I mentioned in the pre-judging video, slightly disappointing. His condition was a little bit off, but his physique is outstanding. So if he can put it all together with the conditioning, he will do amazingly well. Courage Apara is one that really did surprise me. Pre-contest, I saw photos of him 11 days out, and I thought, oh, is he going to be hard enough? Is he going to be big enough? He stood next to these guys and actually looked really, really good. I predicted him down in like eighth place. Shocked me, came in fourth, real good condition. I was impressed with that as well. So Courage Apara definitely earned that fourth place finish. In third, we had Logan Franklin, won the best poser award in the classic physique. So he picked himself up an extra $10,000 US. Great routine. I thought it was amazing. I thought maybe Terrence Ruffin would have won that still anyway, but he still had a great routine. I really enjoyed it. In second, we had last year's winner of the Arnold Classic, Alex Cambronero. Looked really, really good. I mean, you can't really fault him too much at all. It's just the fact that I think Terence Ruffin, who eventually won it, was just a little bit better and his posing was you know, outstanding as it always is. So Alex looked really, really good. You can't knock the dude at all. He's very, very consistent. And I'm sure he'll get another top placing at the Mr. Olympia as well. And in first, as I mentioned, Terence Ruffin. Also, he had another story as well. He lost, obviously, John Meadows, who was his coach for this contest up until a month or so out. And he also lost Matt Porter a couple of years ago as well. So he's lost a few coaches recently. So he tributed this win to them. And it was, um, you know, really nice to see that a lot of, you know, happy emotions sort of came out of this 2021 Arnold Classic. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, losing a coach or losing a friend and all that sort of stuff is, is terrible. But it's cool that he got that win and was able to tribute that win to him. So two out of the four classes at this 2021 Arnold Classic well, we're coached by John Meadows. So that was really, really cool to see as well. But let me know what you think about the classic physique. Who would you have had winning? I had Logan Franklin personally winning, but I can totally see why Terrence Ruffin won it, especially after seeing his posing routine and the way he moves and the way he compares a bit more as well at finals. Um, what do you think about the open class? Did you have Nick Walker winning this show? I think pretty much most people did. But what do you think about Ian Valier placing second? And what do you think about uh, Sergio Oliva Jr., Keen Williams, Justin Rodriguez, and all those guys as well? Let me know what you think in the comments below on that. Thank you guys for all the support this weekend. I have heaps more videos coming out regarding this 2021 Arnold Classic as well with some interesting talking points too. So make sure you do subscribe, hit the notification bell button and you won't miss out on any of that. And you'll get notifications for every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. Also, if you like the content, please give this video a thumbs up and smash that like button as well. So for Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are out. <laughs>